basically what happened is uh, I, get, I get approached by um, a male and a female. The male has been in here before, and when he walks in, he says, oh, I've come here to buy a love a ring for my lovely wife. And he turns around, and she's busy holding the door open, acting as if there's something wrong with uh, her shoe. Uh, one of my staff members ran to the door, coming back from the toilet, uh, she, he can see he can't get in through the door. And um, just two accomplices come and they um, push him through the door. And as they push him through the door, they stick a gun in his back. And they, and he and when he enters into the shop, he says, we're being robbed, we're being robbed. And then uh, the guy um, uh, uh, pulls a gun out to my head and he sticks his hand immediately in my, my pocket and he steals my wallet, tells me to get down on the floor and he sticks a gun in my back, he sticks a gun in my back and he stands on my head on the floor and he goes, one of the guys go to the back and they pick up one of the, the small ladies who work for me and tell her to fill the bag and... Uh, uh, sadly, she knows what's valuable, and she goes straight for client's jobs, which she starts loading in the bag, and then she comes to me and she says, boss, they want you. They tell me to open the safe, and he gets the keys out, gives me the keys, tells me to open the safe, which I do. I open the safe, um, I take all the... And once I've opened the safe, the focus is off me, so I kind of go and look for a place where I can, where I feel comfortable to lie down and I find my place and focus is not on me at that point. They're just scouting around to see whatever they can get. Then we start getting rounded up one by one. They start putting us in the back and he shouts out like, why is this door locked? And uh, I shout, it's not locked. And there's also a point in the robbery where he shouts out, um, shouts out, who's got a gun? And I say, uh, no one's got guns here. Nobody's got guns. Anyway, um, we get all get marched into the back. We're told to put our faces down on the floor. And then uh, the guys make a casual exit, making it look quite easy. How much... Did they get away with? It's a lot of money. I can tell you. I can tell you that there was a ring there for four hundred thousand rand, my most expensive ring. Obviously, I'm uh, going to take a knock here financially, but uh, I'm very happy that nobody was uh, shot. Nobody was. You know, it was very easy for one of us to have been shot. Yeah. Um, and you know, we can we can replace. Uh, jewelry and we can replace money but injuries and death I'm happy that we don't have to deal with that right now so my focus is really to uh, my main focus was to get social media involved here I don't believe that, uh, that well um, I don't know yet but in past experiences police haven't been successful or haven't um, brought perpetrators to, to book, and so I thought I would use social media as a tool. Yeah. There are security guards, and uh, I'm very disappointed that the security guards didn't pick up or chose not to pick up. We're not sure what sort of involvement there might be. How are you yes. coping and, and dealing? Is it... Is it difficult? Um, and what are the emotions? Are you guys scared? Yeah, everyone is on high alert. I must say we don't want to open the door for for um, strange-looking customers. Uh, we don't want to open the door for anyone we don't know. Uh, everyone's on edge. You know, the other day a, fa a drill fell onto the bench, and when it fell onto the bench, everybody uh, got a huge fright. It was a huge bang, and... You know, people are edgy.